Hey everybody, we're going to take a look at Google Plus now. Uh, Google Plus is a social network that's put together by Google. I think it provides us with great opportunities to learn, socialize, and communicate uh, with students and colleagues. Uh, so, I mean, we can go into Google and search for Google Plus and find uh, the link for uh, To use Google Plus, you're going to need a Google account. So, if you use Gmail right now or you use Google Docs, uh, you can use Google Plus. Uh, basically, if you go to accounts.google.com, you can sign up and create a new account. They're going to ask you the, the typical stuff. They're going to ask you for name, address, um, you know, password. They're going to ask for birthday, mobile phone. A lot of the reason why they ask for this stuff here, the mobile phone number and, and current email and even this part here, is they want to make sure that you're not a robot that's going across the internet and setting up a bunch of different accounts. So don't be really uh, unnerved by that. Uh, location, once you agree to this stuff, they're gonna start you up with your account. Uh, now, I have an account, I've been using it for a while, one of the reasons why I'm promoting its use. But basically when you go to your page, you're gonna have, come on internet, when you go to your page, it's going to have a lot of different information uh, just about you. I'm going to go in and edit my page so we can take a look at different things that you want to be able to change on yours. So as you add in your materials, uh, I clicked over here on profile. A lot of these, uh, the interface for Google Plus changes frequently, so don't be unnerved if you see something in a different video that looks a little bit different. So if I go to profile, I'll pull up my page. Uh, the first link is going to be uh, about. The about piece is going to give basic information about me. It's nice to fill this out somewhat correctly just because then when some people Google you, they can pull up information about you. So I have my email address. I have my phone number. Um, I have other links online. So I have my blog here and the different websites that I contribute to. I have my YouTube channel and my links to Scribd and Twitter and Facebook. Um, I also have my, my work history, my education, a little blurb about me. If I go to posts, I have all the recent posts that I shared and plus one you know, on other people's pages. Up top, I can change my profile picture. So if I want, I can go into different albums of photos that I've already uploaded to the internet. I can go to photos that other people took of me that are online. I can start up my webcam right now and take a picture of myself. Or for many of you, you already have a photo that you want to use that's on your desktop. If you have it on your desktop, basically just drag it in here or select and you'll be able to pull it up. Uh, it's pretty easy to be able to pull up anything that you want. The other thing that Google Plus has is this little cover area. So I can change the cover and I can add any of the other stock photography that they have. I can go into my own albums and pull up stuff. I can, once again, upload photos as my background. So you can really set this up to look exactly the way that you want it to look. Um, once you're in here, I can change any of these pieces as well. So once again, if I'm in Google Plus, this is my main page for Google Plus, so I can see all of the different links. But then if I go here and I click on my profile, that's when I'm going to go in and I'm going to want to change my profile. I'm going to want to add and edit my content information, my contact uh, information, and take a little bit of time and change your image and your picture and stuff like that. Uh, one thing that I noticed that I noted in the text piece and the blog post is when you first start up with Google Plus, yes, I recommend that you go through and fill out this information. But when they start you off in Google Plus, they're going to ask you to make a bunch of friends and join a bunch of communities. I would wait. I would set up your profile first and then we'll walk you through how to do those other pieces. So once again, that's the initial start of Google Plus, how to create an account, how to go in and edit your profile, how to add your images so that it becomes the person or the representation that you want.